Hello everyone, this is Official Coding, and we're playing Star Maid. And I don't know what we're gonna do today. We essentially have two things left. We have um uh, what do we have left? The cargo hold. And we have uh that's not the cargo hold, I'm just going to rooms. I have the cargo hold left to do and I'm gonna add another weapon system to this ship. And I did change this up a bit. So I thought scaffolding on the roof, on the ceiling would look a bit cooler than just plain light, so I add that. So, <clears throat> sorry, I got allergies, so I might sound a little funny. Um, I guess I can take this off. I have everything I need. So, um, I think what we'll do today is add another weapon system. So, this beam missile is insane. Uh, let's get me an armor cube. So I don't. It's still. I mean, armor cube. Uh, but it's insane, but it only has a range of a thousand meters. Or one kilometer. I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I know you know what, 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 what a thousand meters is. Um, but I want something. a little. Uh, longer range. I was trying to decide, should I go for lock-on missiles, or should I go for cannon missile? I can't have both on this ship. So, I uh, I eventually went with, I'm going with this. What the heck? I can't really this the right way. Let's see this. CV. Good. So we need symmetry mode. What we're gonna do is watch our um, General Kenobi. Nope, it's not that one. It's power. Gotta keep our stab above 25. And we're gonna do 7 by 7. By ten. That is output. That is output. And the one the thing I like about cannon missile is that the cooldown time is really low. And it doesn't cost power when you're charging it up. It only costs power when you're recharging it. And that only takes like three seconds, the one hundred percent play system. See that that's only that's the zero percent thing, it's one second. And missile tube, let's do this. So that's what I like about the second system so much. It's Really good if you're if it's just a, like an afterthought weapon system, and you don't care if AI can use it or anything, and just want it to be like super powerful. Yes, I know there aren't, because they screwed up my recording last time. Let's undo that actually. Twenty-eight. Eighty-four. Okay, that's good. So oh, let's think of the weapon systems. One hundred three percent. And that's doing everything. Even charging up my stealth drive. You can see what it is. I'm using my stealth drive. One hundred eight. But, look at that, now it's only 93. So we're good. Because so, even though it's 108, I can't constantly use this cannon missile. It's got like a 7.5 second charge up time. 
Uh, actually, that looks like a full second now. I don't know what it is, but, you know, you're good. Actually, I forgot to see what this thing's DPS is. So, damage. So, the DPS here. What the heck? Interesting. So, we do that. 39,200 times 15. I've already do it like that. And... Five hundred eighty-eight thousand. So, if I'm correct, uh, I just use this as like a testing platform. It should destroy the two shields. Sorry, I was blowing my nose. Um, let's see this. Dang it, I keep on forgetting. I need a camera here. I always have to have a camera here and a camera down there because the camera usually gets taken out by, you know, stray weapon shot. Or I guess maybe intentional if you're fighting a person. So we got that. Now what do we do? I don't know. We could just, you know, call it after like five minutes. But that's no fun. So I think I'll just add more thrusters, you know. And I will calculate... Um... The... Cost... Based on... Uh, not using my cannon missile, because that doesn't count. 93%? No, 94%. I can add a bit more. I'm gonna get this all the way up to 100%. Because I need as many thrusters as I can. Because inevitably ends up happening is I add my armor, the thing goes down, camera goes down to like two. Let's do this again. Ninety-four. Okay. Need add more. 95. You know what? I don't want these right here. I want them. Not really much many places up to put thrusters, now that I think about it. Six, five, six, okay. Okay, let's see this. My thrust is 33.618. Um, 33.618. Right by 2.5. 13,000. What's this thing's mass? 10,000, which means I can add, well, 13. Oh, oops, that's wrong. 33,618.301. Divided by 2.5. I did that wrong. 
13,447 minus 10,662.5. No. Two eight thousand eight hundred thirty-nine uh, thousand. I'm not going to be able to get the thrust mass up there. So what I could do is this. Um, I could take out a jump chamber, and this doesn't really need a multi charge. I guess. I'll do this make it really simple. Oops, I don't even need to remove the place. This camera. Place back of slot. Oh, of course. These are actually different blocks. Okay. Did this reactor mobility chamber. Eleven blocks tall or ten? Twelve. All right, reactor mobility. Dang. Okay, I still have 5%. What do I do? Shoot. Oh, that's my problem. Okay, so I have more reactor. So, I mean, of course I'm gonna add another chamber. chamber I could do anti-grab nope I can't yeah not happening ooh no okay so what we're gonna do is this and why did I mess this up again not like it matters. Good place. Put this camera. Okay. Now we just add it like this. And our mobility chamber is top speed two. And defense chamber is I think it will be space armor enhancement. Yep. That. Or should it be base shield enhancement? Um. Can't do it. Base armor enhancement. Okay, so there we go. What's top speed now? 292, I think we're good. So, um, I think that'll be it. Tomorrow I will work on cargo hold, on the cargo hold, and start armoring, and then we're done. I mean, I'll do detailing off camera, like I was doing with my miner. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.